ladies looked at one another and said, You will be married. Yes, married. You're going to get married. And we want to come to your wedding feast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're hungry. We want to come. And you must say that we're your aunties. Yeah, yeah, just say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're old aunties. Kelsa looked at them. That's it? That's it, that's it, yeah, yeah, that's it. I promise, old ladies, quickly, the rooster will crow soon. Quickly, spin, spin. And so the three old ladies went to work. The one with the gigantic foot sat down at the spinning wheel, and the huge foot began to go up and down, up and down, faster and faster on the treadle that turned the wheel. The second one, with the gigantic thumb, took the thread as it spun off the spindle and spun it out into the air, into clouds and clouds of thread. And the third one, the one with the giant lip, as any good spinner will do, took the new thread and wetted it so that it would stay together. And it wasn't long before all those piles of raw flax were transformed into skein after skein of beautiful linen thread. Perfect thread. Not a moment too soon, the old ladies left, and the queen walked in. Well, good mo You did it. You wonderful child. You'll marry my son this very day. Come this way. Uh, Kelsa was dragged along and said, I don't know your son. Are you sure we should do this so fast? Yes, of course, he's my son. Yes, but come this way. Kelsa was dragged into a room filled with gowns and one of them was thrown over her and then she was shoved out a door and found herself standing in front of an audience and there beside her was a very tall wishy-washy looking young man who looked down at her and said <laughs> hello <laughs> he was the prince she looked up hello <laughs> yeah, yes oh, 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 oh of course I do I do <laughs> she was pinched from behind. I do, I guess. And Kelsa was married. All the people processed into the feasting hall. She sat there beside her husband on the dais and uh, didn't know quite what to do when suddenly there came a... knocking on the door, and in walked the three funny-looking old ladies. The company stared at them, aghast. Never had they seen such out-of-the-ordinary old ladies. Without a word, the old women walked right up to where Kelsa sat there at the bridal table, and the prince looked at them and asked Kelsa, uh, <laughs> oh, my dear, <laughs> I couldn't have noticed these, these old ladies. <laughs> They seem to know you. Who are they? She remembered her promise and said, Oh, husband, they're my three dear old aunties. May they eat with us? Your aunties? <laughs> You're sure? Mm -hmm. <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> Please sit, sit down. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, he tried to be polite, but he could not take his eyes off the three old ladies, so out of the ordinary they appeared, until finally the prince turned to Kelsa and whispered to her and said, Ah, my dear, <laughs> I couldn't have a notice of the first dear old auntie there. <laughs> that is some foot. <laughs> it's on my boot under the table. <laughs> How did it get back where? And she thought a moment and told the truth. She said, Oh, husband, it's from lots of spinning, I think. Spinning? <laughs> I didn't know it could do that. <laughs> uh, yes, and your second dear old auntie there. <laughs> Her thumb is on my plate. <laughs> However did it get that way? And once again, she told the truth. She said, well, husband, it's just from lots of spinning, I think. Spinning? <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> and your third dear old auntie? Her lip is on her plate. <laughs> However did it get that way? And once again, she told the truth. She said, oh, husband, it's from lots of spinning, spinning every day. Well, the prince looked at Kelsa. He looked at her beautiful lips, wonderful for kissing. 
He looked at her hands, wonderful for holding in moonlit gardens. He looked at her feet, wonderful for dancing swiftly across ballroom floors for a lifetime. And for the first time in his own lifetime, without his mother, he stood up and he made a decision and he called all the company to silence and said, <laughs> Henceforward, if she doesn't want to, my lovely wife never has to spin again. <laughs> She never did.